Do you need a lift? Donald Trump, you need to keep it pushing. Donald Trump, he's a fool. He's a what? He's a fool. Why don't you grab? Emails. The Russians hijacked our emails that say that we lied. How dare they? And I love you. And if Michelle ever doesn't want you, here I am. But can you tell me your name and why you're here? Sure. Uh, I look in this camera here. Yep. My name is Omid Faruzi. I'm here because I uh, was uh, here to support Hillary Clinton at the Haverford Rally. Uh, I uh, am a second year law student at Villanova Law School. Oh, great. Good to And uh, I am, before I head back to go to class, uh, <laughs> filming this here to express my support for Hillary because I think that she'll continue the policies of President Obama, who I'm a big supporter of. I generally agree with her views. I would consider myself more of a progressive Democrat, and so I want to see her get in office so that she can continue to support strong anti-poverty programs, work to expand health insurance, get started on more work on child care, family leave, so we can see some progress there as well. And I trust her judgment overall as well. I think she's able to negotiate with world leaders in a way that can be effective, as she demonstrated as Secretary of State. And obviously, I think she. Uh, should be president in no small part because <laughs> her opponent is Donald Trump, who I think is a threat right. to the country. Trump's going to eat up. Here as well. I think she made a mistake, but she has admitted that she made a mistake. Uh, obviously, it was not a smart thing to do, and I think uh, she did it because she has for years now had a kind of mistrust of her political enemies and she has seen how a lot of them have gone after her and her husband in ways that have been very unfair. Mm -hmm. There's a great documentary about this called The Hunting of the President. Um, but um, it still was not right and I think, uh, you know, clearly she's learned from it though. And voters who still can't get their head around voting for Hillary after um, Bernie's uh, departure from the scene. I would say that if you care about things that Bernie cared about, then you're going to vote for Hillary Clinton because she has always been somebody who's been devoted to reducing income inequality. She's always been someone who's been devoted to expanding health care. That has been demonstrated not only in her recent career in the Senate and uh, as a presidential candidate, but also when she was younger as a legal aid lawyer, she was totally committed to legal assistance for the poor and working in that realm. And so that kind of indicates, I think, a passion for these issues. And she has been running on a progressive platform, the most progressive platform in the history of the Democratic Party. And usually the evidence suggests that presidents do achieve or try to achieve what they say that they will in office. So when they go out on the campaign trail and they say, I'm going to do this, take them at their word for it because they know that their supporters will hold them accountable yeah. and I think that millennials need to take a good hard look at the stakes of the election because they can either have somebody like Donald Trump who has said that um, you know he didn't do anything wrong with the Trump University case which you know is indicative of the fact that he doesn't care about student debt at all in fact he's only had a history of harming students right there's some uh there's some predatory behavior there. Or they could have Hillary Clinton, who's adopted Bernie Sanders' debt-free college plan. Even before she adopted that plan, she had a comprehensive plan on student aid. Uh, so I think it's a pretty clear choice. And the third parties, I think, are pretty unacceptable. I would say that you have to be concerned about stability, about strength, about calmness, cool-headedness who's going to be a steady hand at the tiller. And Hillary Clinton represents all of those things. Donald Trump represents the exact opposite of that. So I think it's a pretty clear choice. So and that a, goes for any voter, so frankly. So it's an issue of safety for the nation, right? Yeah, I mean, and that's not just a, something that women are concerned about. That's something that everybody is talking about and everybody is always worried about because you don't want to have a situation where you have an unhinged madman like mm -hmm. Donald Trump, who asked three times in an hour-long meeting with national security experts 
why can't we use nuclear weapons? Yeah, I remember so reading that. I think Hillary is definitely the stronger, safer choice there. Trump hates women? I think he is a misogynist, yes. Mm, straight up? Yes. And a misogynist is somebody who hates women. Just yeah, and he's a chauvinist, and he's, he's, he's a total... Uh, he, he totally has a view of them that is um, one of seeing them as inferior, as objects, as uh, not being equal to him and other kind of faux tough guys. Mm -hmm. I would just say that, uh, you know, majority of the country, including myself, thinks that President Obama is doing a good job, and clearly he's looked at us out of the worst recession since uh, the Great Depression. Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus. That's my, my John. Well, he's, he's, he's been flawed in some respects, of course, uh, and I, I have my disagreements with him, but generally he has been, I think, a very good president, and I think he's gotten a lot of major domestic legislative achievements done that have been important, like the ACA and Dodd-Frank, and the relevance of all of that to this election is that if you want to see those policies continued or improved on in a way to make them more progressive, Hillary Clinton is the way to go. And, and, and yes, she probably won't have a fully democratic Congress like Obama had at the beginning, but I think Obama in the last six years, since he's had a Republican House, has demonstrated how you can use the executive action and the bully pulpit to move things forward. And I think you can expect Hillary Clinton to use that as a model, especially since she's bringing on some of the same advisors like John Podesta and Jake Sullivan. So she's surrounding herself with the right people. She's got the right mentality of generally wanting to safeguard these very important policies that have improved the lives of millions of people. Um, and I think uh, if you like the way things are going under Barack Obama, if you like Barack Obama, you should like Hillary Clinton, which I think is a winning message. And if you don't want Donald Trump to be president, voting for her is the truly the most effective way to prevent him. If you think the status quo is preferable to Donald Trump, then Hillary Clinton is the way to go. Yeah, that's sort of it. Thank you. You're awesome. I gotta run. Gotta I have class. Do you want a lift? No, I've got, I have my car. Politicab. Sure. Politicab. Check it out. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir.